Hi, just received a brand new Smokin' It Model 2 electric smoker via FedEx. Came just a few minutes ago. And I'm going to open it up and get it set up. And I uh, hope to be able to show you that process. So let's get started here. This is actually my second smoker. Uh, my first one I got was a, a Brinkman Gourmet Electric, uh, just an inexpensive one that I wanted to try out uh, the art of smoking meat to see if I'd like it. And uh, my wife and I both like it very much and we enjoy the, the food that comes off. So we wanted to get something a little better and uh, give us a little more control. The Brinkman had no heat control so you were limited what you could do with that. This one uh, does have the heat control and it's also insulated so uh, it should give us much better service. Um, let me get it out of the box. Here's what it looks like inside there and on top in the envelope there's a nice note that says Gary thank you so much for your purchase and it's signed by the uh, owner of the company. Oh, that's a nice touch. Okay, I'm not going to bother you watching this because it's going to take me a bit to get it out of there. It's fairly heavy and uh, I'll be back when I, I have it out of the crate. Okay, I got it out of the box and I have it turned upside down. They say on the website that it comes ready to use and that's probably true except uh, not quite. I have to screw the uh, four casters into the feet and that's not a big deal and they even give you the uh, wrench to do it with. So I'll get that done. Very simple. Okay, casters are on. And it's sitting right side up. Now I have to remove all the packing material from inside. These cards are in. These are the shelves. It comes with uh, five shelves. This is a seafood shell shelf. Uh, it's got a fine mesh screen on it so that uh, small bits of food seafood uh, can't fall off of there and then there's the regular shells there's four of them and then this is a drip pan and the drip pan goes under here <coughs> there's a hole in the bottom the bottom's tapered and any of the meat juices will drip down there and then through the hole into the pan. There's also a little trough uh, in front of the door because sometimes you get some drippage on the, from the door and that also has a hole. So apparently we will position this so it's under both of those holes and catch whatever happens to fall out of this. There's the fourth tray and our styrofoam. This came with plenty of styrofoam which I absolutely hate but not much you can do about that. And then this is the box that you put the wood in uh, that makes the smoke. And this is the heating element. More styrofoam. And what I will do next is to just clean this out a little bit. There's all little bits of uh, styrofoam in there. And then uh, the next step after that will be to uh, season it. And uh, I'll show you uh, how to do that when I get this cleaned up. Okay, the, I should say a little bit about the construction. Uh, my first impression, uh, it appears to be very well built. It's quite heavy, very sturdy. Uh, it's all stainless steel, riveted and screwed and bolted. And um, the, the door, as you can see, is about an inch thick and that's all insulated. 
So uh, I'm, I'm very impressed with the uh, quality of the build on this one. The uh, side racks, I didn't realize, but they just pop right out like that. Those are the slots where the shelves uh, slide into. And that, as well as the shelves, can just go right in the dishwasher to uh, clean. And uh, it doesn't do me much good because we don't have a dishwasher. I know, old school, but what are you going to do? But I'll leave those in. And it said, uh, take the shelves out, put about four ounces of wood in the wood box. Now, I happen to be a woodworker as well as a gardener and other things. And um, I've never I've never dealt with wood measured by weight before, so I'm just kind of guessing. Uh, it came with this little bag of hickory plugs, and I'm guessing these are maybe uh, two ounces, so I'm guessing two of those would be uh, four ounces, and that's what they're recommending to put in. I happen to have some uh, hickory chunks from my old smoker left over and I think I'll use them up first. So, slide this out and I'm just going to put two of them in there. I think I'm fairly close to four ounces. I looked up on the internet and uh, they tell me that a typical cell phone weighs about eight ounces. So I hefted my cell phone in one hand and those in the other and I'm guessing that's fairly close to the uh, four ounces. And then close up the door. I don't probably need the drip pan, but I'm going to leave it there uh, just in case who knows what might come off of here during the seasoning process. I don't think it's going to be anything, but just to be safe, we'll leave that. The door closes very tightly. I, it's got locking casters, which I should probably lock to prevent it from rolling all over the place here. And uh, the door seals very tightly. And then it's said to put the heat on about 210 degrees. And I'll do that. And let it go for about four hours. So I'll do that. And then tomorrow I plan to make my first uh, meal on it and I'm going to do some baby back ribs and I will uh, show you how I do that and realizing of course this is my first time with this smoker but um, I think it's going to come out just fine. So we'll let that go and pretty soon the smoke will come flying out of there and we'll be all set. I'll uh, get a close up shot of the top here so you see what the um, control and everything looks like. It's just got a name plate and there's some uh, smoking tips and then the control knob you uh, just turn it and set your temperature for whatever you want it. Like I said we're going to go for about 210 uh, for this break in period so we'll leave it there and let it go. I moved the camera uh, to a different angle so you can see it a little bit better. It's been about uh, 15 minutes now and as you can see it's uh, really smoking away pretty good and I'm getting just a little bit of smoke out of the uh, top edge of the door and that again I understand is normal until it uh, heats up real good and obviously the very first time it's been turned on I'm sure it's going to be uh, more so than other times but uh, uh, I'm very impressed with this so far so far so good can hardly wait to make them ribs tomorrow. Okay, that's all I'm going to do for now, and uh, I'll uh, see you tomorrow when I get started on making my ribs.